is up guys, it's the Mountain Outdoors here, back with a brand new video. Today I have my wind muff on, it is freezing cold out, and it is extremely windy. Today's video is going to be on this black trailer right behind me. It's about a 30 foot trailer, end to end, 4 place snowmobile trailer. I have a lawn tractor in the trailer right now, which is going to be a review on, which I'm making as soon as I've, I am done filming this video right now. But I'm going to turn the camera around for you. YouTube says that over 40% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. That watch the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So if you do enjoy this video, consider subscribing. But with all that being said, let's get straight into this video. Alrighty, so we'll start off just a little walk around right here. We have our ramp door here. This would be a drive out or you could drive in depending on what you want. You have your tongue now this is not an extended tongue this is your standard tongue all right you have your home cone but you have your uh, chains here as well as your um, trailer brakes here which then connects to here which then connects to your truck you have your fancy locking mechanism here for the hitch so this is a newer this is a 2020 trailer we got it brand new last year but this is the new thing instead of the thing that usually just comes up it's a little bit different again your chains and your electricity here for your lights on here you have your jack here right here it's a 3000 support capacity and a 2000 uh lift capacity trailer jack you have your nice diamond plate on the sides here right up here you can see your great diamond plate you have your side door right there a gas door there this is a double axle trailer your another gas door there you got two gas doors storm. You have your logo up there. You have your danger heavy door stand clear. This is a spring assist door. You have your locking mechanism as far as the trailer goes. This is from Scott's Recreation in, in Maine. In uh, Turner, Maine. You can go find them. They have a variety of snowmobile trailers as well as campers. And your license plate holder up there, which we will not be showing because obviously there's a license plate up there. You come in right around the side. You have again on the other side of the trailer your axles again, your ramp door again. So we will review the doors. We'll go in through the back and then we'll open up the ramp door after. The side ramp door, sorry. So to open it, you can put a lock on here, it's your choice. You lift it up, you simply pull up on this rubber handle here. You lift it up. Bring it all the way to the side, all right? You have your brake lights and blinkers, and that down there is gonna be your reverse light when you're backing up. Same thing, brake light turn signal, your reverse light's right there. Same thing as far as this one goes. You're gonna lift it up. I'm sorry about the wind. There's trash and stuff blowing everywhere. This is a spring assist door. You use this handle right here. This is a two person job, only if you want it to be. The door is frozen, by the way. Spring assist door, as you can see right up there. There we go. We did add these snowmobile rubber ramps. This is not included in the trailer. You can get it included, but the trailer we bought, we had it installed. It's pretty warm in here. This is the inside again, 30 feet from the end all the way up to the front. 
this is your ramp door again it's gonna come down with your spring assist bar here and your spring assist will be right here and that's your rolling tube pretty open in here we have some snowmobile parts don't worry about that stuff we need to get repaired there is a lot of space in here this is a four place snowmobile trailer you have your and a light right there, your LED light there. One located at the front, one located at the back. This diamond plate right there, I do say, that is not included. We had to have that added on. That goes on the end because of snowmobile um, ripping up the end of the trailer. You have your nice light switch here, simple. Lights do not work. If I flip the switch right here, it's not going to work. The power has to be connected to your truck in the front. You have your do not sleep in this area sign. You have your door with your little handle. It works just like a camper door would. We are extremely... Sorry guys, the door is frozen. The wind is about to take the door. But... lead us to our side and as you can see that's how big our door is here I can show you our door stopper right there so all you do is you lift this up come on you lift it up like so you There you go. Put it in there. Door's not going anywhere. To release it, can't go up. Press this button here. Lift it up from the bottom. It'll make a click sound. Door will close. Wind does the honors. You have a trailer light here. You have your gas door here. I'm not going to showcase that opening up. You also have your lock and unlock. And again, your other gas door right here with your lock and unlock. Simple door opens just like the side door front would. would. I'm going to put you guys on the ground while I shift. did not even see that but there you are you have your little tiny LEDs kind of lights on the side as well as your other fender trailer light sometimes these trailers have on the top a thing that cranks open as a little Air exchange this trailer is not equipped with that. And so on our side ramp door, we will pop this ramp door open. You have um you also have your grease fittings here and up top on both of your hinge doors. This is a lot smaller door. As you can see, it's a lot smaller. You have your danger heavy door stand clear thing again. Okay. And just like so, we can open this up with your spring assist door. It kind of comes down on its own and kind of shuts on its own, like so. This one's a little lighter. It's a little smaller, it's a little lighter from that back door. That's what the back door looks like when it's closed. 
and it's just like the same thing. It's just another way of uh, getting in. Again, we did have the ramp doors put in on this trailer. I mean, sorry, not the ramp doors. The mats. Specifically for the snowmobiles. This is a snowmobile trailer. As I mentioned earlier, but... I wanted to let you guys know. And then I'll show you how to close it. Grab your handle, you lift it up. Push in and down. You locked out like so. And that's about it. There's not really anything that much to this trailer. Um, but it's a 30 foot snowmobile trailer. 30 feet from front to back as you can see. It's a pretty darn big trailer. And it uh, helps out with snowmobiling a lot as far as transporting. To do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video and get subscribed to the channel. Comment down below any future video ideas, and I'd be happy to um, do those video ideas. I do read you guys' comments every time you guys comment, so let me know in the comment section down below any future video ideas. But with all that being said, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Peace. Woo!